Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry we've not been around recently. Uh, we've had so much going on. One of us turned 40, not me. Stop telling everybody. <laughs> um, what we're <laughs> celebrating that and various bits and bobs we've had on, we've not had chance to go away for a while. Uh, but we're going away now. It's Friday, it's 5 p.m. Lou, where are we going? We are going to Green Hills Holiday Park, which is just outside Bakewell in the Peak District. Spot so, on. Yeah. I think it's what, 90 minutes there? Yeah, yeah, it's only sort of 90 minutes or so. And uh, the campsite messaged us uh, yesterday and said, oh, by the way, there's a wood fired pizza oven van on the site on Friday night. Uh, if you want pizza, uh, we advise um, pre ordering. So we pre ordered some pizza for later on. So, yeah. Two videos in a row with pizza in it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We do we do like pizza, to be fair. We do. So, yeah, let's get on the road. So we've arrived at Green Hills Holiday Park. Uh, it was a nice journey actually. There was quite a bit of traffic about, but um, it was quite fast flowing, so it meant we got here in really, relatively good time. Um, the site is located about a mile from the centre of Bakewell, and I think tomorrow we'll be heading down there, do a little dog walk to the centre of Bakewell and see what we can find. But we have arrived and collected our pizza, and we're just about to eat them, aren't we? Yeah. They smell incredible. Smells really good. And the, the pizza van, proper wood-fired pizza like van that's on, on site. Well, I guess they say it's every Friday it turns up, they say. I don't know if it's every Friday, but it's it's on a Friday. Yeah, on they, a Friday. That they tend to turn up, I think. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna dig into that. I think I've got a meat, meat feast, feast and then you've got a barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken, yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. We're gonna eat that and then uh, I don't know, settle in for the night, maybe watch some YouTube. Yeah. And we will catch you in the morning. Good morning. Morning. We have woken up to the most beautiful day. It's clear blue sky, it's not cloud in the sky, and it's sunny. It's lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's, it, on the face of it, it's not warm, but actually, if you sit in the sun, it's quite nice and toasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it is. It's a bit fresh, but mm. in the sun, it's lovely. Um, as usual, when you arrive at a campsite, sort of at this time of year, um, after work, it's pretty it's much pitch black. pitch black when you get here. So sometimes you're a bit like, I wonder what our surroundings are like. But actually, it's it's really picturesque, isn't it? Yeah. Busy, actually, really busy site. Surprisingly, mm. for this time of year, um, lots of camper vans, motorhomes, caravans. Um, but yeah, beautiful trees around us with the autumnal leaves. So yeah, I feel pretty chilled this morning. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, and then I'm about to chill out for a bit and you're going to go for a run aren't you? Yes. Uh, yeah I'm, t I'm just going to run to um, to Bakewell and back which what is it about two miles? Yeah did I say it was like 1.3 miles there and obviously 1.3 miles back I think. I think something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah that is us we will catch up with you because you're going to go for a run and then when you get back we're going to cook breakfast so we'll catch up with you at breakfast. Right, so I've run to the centre of Bakewell and I'll tell you what, I'm not looking forward to the way back because it's literally going to be all uphill on the way back. Oh jeez, right here goes. Wish me luck. How was your run? I'm absolutely knackered now. It was, it was, there was quite a lot of uphill on the way back. So is that what we've got to look forward to when we wander to Bakewell later? Excuse me what I cough up a lung. <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, but I think when you're walking it won't be too bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. Oh well, done it. Must be time for breakfast. Oh, I think so, definitely. Let's go. Right, breakfast. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Right, breakfast has basically become brunch because it's now gone 11. Um, bit of a lazy morning. Well, lazy for me anyway. You've been for a run. Um, but we're going to do like a 
Well, we saw it on Jamie Oliver the other day, didn't we? Yeah. Was it this week or last week, something. You basically take some sausages, makes them into like a patty, takes them out. The yeah, skin. so he takes them out of the skins, which makes them quicker, cook a lot quicker. Yeah, I can't get the words out. <laughs> but then he takes like a pepper, a jarred pepper, puts a bit of cheese in there, puts that in there, and puts that on top as well. Um, and then in like a brioche bun. So we're going to basically try and do that for breakfast, aren't we? Yeah. See how it goes. So uh, yeah, let's see how we do. You seem to have some helpers while you're de-skinning those. Well on helper way. number one is over there, and helper number two is over here. Take a pepper, slide a piece of cheese inside, job's a good one. Good. Mm. Like it seems a bit odd, you know, like putting jarred peppers on a sausage, but it tastes really good. You know, like the sort of slightly acidicness of the peppers, the sweetness of the sausage. Really, really nice. Mm. Triumph. Well, we've just uh, finished eating our. What would you call it? Sausage. No, it's a take on a sausage sandwich, isn't it? Basically? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, but with. It made into like a burger patty type thing. Yeah. And obviously with the peppers and cheese. It was what delicious. did you uh, think? Really, really delicious. Mm. Those peppers, when you were like getting them out of the jar, they looked a bit like slimy, didn't they? And a bit like. Yeah. But they, they're so I, nice, they are. I mean, they're all, someone's roasted, like there's charred bits on them, mm. isn't there, where they've been roasted? Yeah, I think they've been like de seeded, like de skinned. Roast, you, like where roasted. Where you, where you char them off and take the skin off. But yeah, I've never had them before out of the jar, but I would repeat them. They're like, actually really you know, nice. I don't really know, make, nice. So you're making a tomato y pastry sauce, put some of them in, delicious. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I think yeah. Uh, it's time to go for a wander. Sounds good. Well, we're heading into Bakewell, um, which Lou knows the way because she went for a run this morning. Um, but there's quite a long drive first, isn't there? Quite, yeah. Like, from the road, it's quite a long drive, isn't it? Yeah. As in the Driveway. driveway yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got to navigate that, which will take us to the road. And then there's basically like a footpath, isn't it? Like a roadside footpath. Yeah, all... there's a footpath all the way into Bakewell, which is really good. Um, you also pass an Aldi, which is easily within walking distance of the site. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Because um, you said the site's got a um, a shop but it's like essentials only like milk and yeah it's so. just like it's not it's just in reception you know they've just got a little fridge with um, like one pint milks and I think butter and then just yeah. the usual like bits and bobs like washing up liquid things you may forget just like real bog standard stuff yeah, so not, it's not a proper shop at all possibly shop is a stretch then yeah More yeah like I'd essentials. Say. yeah and then they've got a, a freezer with like um you know, ice creams in and stuff oh, like I mean, that. That is an essential item. <laughs> yeah, maybe not so much uh, at this time of year. No. Well, it is sunny today. Yeah, it is quite nice. Any excuse for ice cream. There's definitely lots of autumn colour as well, isn't there? Like oh, the yeah. In the Beautiful. trees and stuff. Definitely. Um, yeah, so we're going to wander to Bakewell, see what we can see.
building. What have you got, Star? Bake or tart, obviously. Not non-traditional, though, isn't it? Didn't you I, say? I feel like you know, like Mr. Kipling, you know Last how looking. it has icing on yeah. the tart. I don't think that's like strictly like legit bake or tart, yeah, but yeah. we really like that, don't we? So yeah. I, I did get one like that. Yeah, but it's called cool, from Mr. Bloomer's Bakery, and I think we passed like. We passed a sign that said Bloomer's Bakery, so I think it might be made like in Bakewell. What, as in up? up yeah, you in know the... when we were walking down the road, we passed a sign that said Bloomer's Bakewell, like Oh, like maybe in that, um, like the business park Yeah, bit. no, no, it was just on the road. Oh, it, okay. it said the sign, I thought, that's weird. It's, it's not a shop or anything. It just looks like the entrance to like a warehouse or like a oh. courtyard. But maybe, I think maybe that's maybe where they make them, maybe. Possibly. But yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Something to enjoy later. All right, let's carry on in Bakewell. So there's a, Bridge in Bakewell absolutely covered in love locks. Not 100% certain how I feel about love locks. They often, they just seem like vandalism is probably like a stretch, <laughs> but do you know what well, I mean? I, it's but there's there, something, isn't it? There's something like spectacular about a bridge full of love locks. Yeah, just. And the sort of meaning behind them almost. Yeah, it's just. But I do imagine think. Imagine the weight on the bridge. I do think it causes like local authorities sort of problems, doesn't it? From, yeah. what, from what you read and stuff. We bought the dogs a little poppy since it is a uh, Remembrance Sunday, tomorrow. Right, so that was the beautiful town of Bakewell. Um, yeah, really nice, really enjoyed it. Loads of little like shops and stuff and some incredible looking buildings. Sorry, Sabre's was drinking out of a dirty puddle. Standard. <laughs> um, the only thing I will say is, if you are bringing dogs like we have, it's just there's dogs everywhere. So the dogs just, <laughs> they want to be in everything. They want to, talk to everyone there's so, so many smells they were just yeah they, they were they were quite irritating to be honest <laughs> like they were just all over the place but like they've had a good time so. oh yeah they're loving it so on the way down here we passed a what looked like a brewery with a tap room i think what was it thorn yes the thorn bridge brewery yeah so i think we, it's got a tap room I'm pretty yeah. sure it's got a tap room so i think so we're going to uh head there now and see if we can get a bit normal service is being resumed yeah uh, oh, we also stopped by the butchers to get a couple of steaks, uh, lamb steaks for dinner. I think we'll have them with some salad. Salad and I got some new potatoes as well. Yes. So yeah, we'll head to the brewery and then back onto the, onto the van.
yeah, just having a nice right. beer at the brewery. Uh, we both had a fry, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I think I really like the Green Mountain. It's good Green Mountain. It's, Green Mountain. Green Mountain. it's yeah. a real hoppy one. I really like that. I just tried a bit of yours, didn't I? And mm. I quite like it as well. Yeah, so I'm not having those uh, in my uh, yeah. But yeah, really cool place. Perhaps just outside because this is like a covered outside seating. It's so busy inside. Oh, it's really busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's a great vibe to be fair. You know. I, I thought we'd get here and there might not be anybody here, so it's really cool that there's loads of people here. It just yeah. shows that they're doing a great job. So. Yeah, and we get pizza here. We're not getting pizza because we're gonna. We had pizza last night yeah, anyway. Yeah, and uh, we get some lamb or steak. To have, like you said, uh, so yeah, we have another beer and then head back to the van. So we're headed back to the site. Um, I think we probably would have stayed for another pint at the uh, tap room, but it was getting really cold outside cool. and inside was lovely and warm, but there was not really anywhere available. And then anywhere that came free, they're putting reserve signs down to them whether people can like reserve tables for food or yeah, whatever. I think it was just Saturday night, it's busy and mm. that's well, Saturday. Mm. So yeah, it's we started to head back and we've made a bit of a schoolboy error that, uh, so when we left, it was beautiful sunshine. Uh, so we just went out in hoodies. Uh, but now it's really cold. Sun's almost come to the point where it's going to set, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, probably like an hour away from sunset. And it's just suddenly got to see your breath cold, hasn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. In, in the space of like... The, the annoying half. thing is we've got coats, gloves, hats, everything back at the van. But we're just like, oh, it's quite warm. So we'll just go out. We didn't think about the fact we that... We didn't bother, did we? Like... We would need warmth later on. But yeah, so we're hot footing we it back. We're by the sun, basically. Yeah, we're hot footing it back to get some warmth. So back of the van, we have warmed up and we have just made dinner. What have we made for dinner? We have, um, well, we've cooked the lamb steaks that we got from the butchers, and then we've got some new potatoes and salad with it. Nice. And then obviously for our afters, we've got baked or tar. Yeah. Beautiful. Good job you two don't bother about fireworks, isn't it? Well, we've had a lovely day today. Obviously went down into Bakewell, had a look around Bakewell, um, went to the brewery on the way back, which was nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed the brewery. Yeah, it's nice to see somewhere like that busy, actually. Yeah. Um, and it was really busy. It's obviously a popular place. Yeah, and do because they allow people to book tables. There was mm. loads, of, there was loads of people obviously booked tables because mm. there was reserve signs over loads of tables. As soon as the tables were getting full, there was just reserve signs. So. Mm. Definitely. So yeah, we've had a lovely day. Um, obviously, we had some dinner when we got back. After that, we've just sort of chilled. Really, watched a bit of football, watched a bit of TV, chilled out, and now obviously we're we've retreated up into the pot yeah. top. The dogs have been like super quiet and really tired. <laughs> yeah. They're like literally just kipping. I think we wore them out today. We did. All the excitement in Bakewell. And then tomorrow, not sure what we're doing tomorrow, but I think the weather is set to change. So uh, yeah, we'll just see where the mood takes us. Yeah. But we'll catch up with you in the morning. 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 So we had a good night, didn't we? We did, yeah. There's quite a lot of like noises in the night. <laughs> When there, I woke up and was like, Did you hear the people having a massive argument? Some of them a domestic there, right? Yeah, and then you said you heard a plane or something. And it sounded like it was really low and it was going to crack into us. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, but nicely. It's not raining yet, but it's obviously cold and condensation so we've got quite a bit of things to dry before we make a move on to wherever we're going next. Oh, we have. Uh, but yeah, we're thinking maybe we might make ham and egg for breakfast, ham and egg cobs. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. It's not really breakfasty, but we, we don't really have any bacon or anything for breakfast, no. do we? So we, we have got ham. We had bacon at home, I just didn't put it we in. Got to bring it. Yeah, annoyingly. But we've got eggs, we've got cobs, so I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Yeah. I think you might have to change the gas, might we, out there? On the yeah, so on the caddock, it's about out, so we're thinking maybe if we just maybe boil some eggs on there or whatever, fry some eggs. 
then uh, they, they do them on site so we can change them on site, which would yeah, be good. I noticed we've got gas and I had a look and they've got, they've got the little 904s, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, we should be able to get it changed here. Yes, which would be good. Excellent, right, well, we've just uh, brewed up. I'm just so having gonna, a cup of tea. Going to drink these and then uh, crack on with the pack down. Yeah, dogs are tired, aren't they, look? Yeah, save as well tired. Oh, you oh. oh, bless you. And so is Dad Jake. <laughs> Save his sneezing there. <laughs> right, let's get these brews drink. to the um, Woodcroft Car Park, which is a National Trust car park, uh, which is part of the Longshore Estate. And we think there's going to be a nice little walk through the woods um, that we can do with the dogs. We've just sat and ate in our uh, ham and egg cobs, which was good. This way. Thank you, Alice. So yeah, let's go and explore the woods. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Should be, um... I think there's, it's called Paddley Gorge, I think. That should be down there somewhere, hopefully. And it's normally quite nice this time of year because it should be like all the autumn colours and whatnot. Yeah, it should absolutely. be good. Definitely. So, oh, it looks like there's a map here, so we can have a look at that. Oh, that's a good idea. So we right. work out where we're going. Check the map and we'll crack on. So we've just checked the uh, map that's just on the uh, side of the building as you arrive to the sort of start of the walks. And there's a pink route which should take in Paddley Gorge. Um, it looks like it says it's about 1.7 miles, so it should be a nice little walk for the dogs. And hopefully we can see some beautiful autumnal colours and a bit of flowing water. Yeah, it looks like there's some flowing water down there. Absolutely. Right, let's, uh, let's prod on and see where we can get to. So it's uh, mid-November when we're on this trip. It's what, the 12th today? Because we're remembering, yeah, remembering okay. Sunday today. Yeah. And um, obviously it was quite a mild well, October, but it's uh, it's really quite cold oh, today. It's fresh today, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like five degrees or something. It's really, it's, it, obviously that's not that bad, but it feels that bad because it's not been yeah, like, that cold recently. I think normally you sort of eased into the cold, aren't you? Yeah. Just gradually. But it seems like October was really mild, and then it's just all of a sudden just dropped, like, significantly. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're wrapped Watch up yourself. warm today. We're wrapped up warm today. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can uh, see some nice sights on this walk. We've just walked along the uh, sort of gorge bit, haven't we? Yeah. Lovely, part of uh, it. like flowing water. It's really picturesque. Very muddy. Well, I mean, you'd sort of expect that this time of yeah, year. Yeah, it's been, been lots of rain and loads of rain, hasn't there? Wet weather. So, uh, but yeah, it's a lovely walk actually. And I tell you what, with the autumnal colours, it just looks incredible. Um, really yeah, you nice can see walk. it behind us, yeah, can't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, uh, yeah, it's quite quite relatively flat. A little bit up and down, isn't it? But yeah. This seems to be like a proper path though, as in like stones or like trodden 
gravel or whatever. Yeah, you can tell where you meant to go, can't yeah, yeah. you? Yeah, I think I'm guessing it's, it's it's a National Trust car park, so I'm guessing the area is sort of ran and managed by the National Trust, and hence why mm. the paths are pretty decent. So yeah, we're just going to uh, carry on. I, th I think we're probably over halfway around the walk, so we're just going to carry on and uh, get to the car park. Yeah, there's different walks you can do, isn't there? Yeah, all different lengths. I think there's like a short walk, which we're on, which is like 1.7. Then there's like a middle walk, and I think there's like a long walk as well. Um, so yeah, there's options for people. Yeah, different are, options. We, we were just like times a little bit against us today, which is why we've gone on the short walk. And obviously we did quite a big walk with the dogs yesterday anyway, so. Anyway, let's crack on to the car park. Back of the car park now. I'm sure how long it's taken. I don't know, 40 minutes maybe. Yeah. Relatively plodding along, you know. Heavens have opened quite significantly now, which is rather annoying. And we've got to obviously get the dogs dried off before we can set off to home. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to the car park and dry the dogs off. Dallas has turned his back because he knows he's next to be dried. Right, well, we got the dogs dried off. Uh, took a bit of uh, doing because they were quite mu muddy and wet. So uh, And they don't like being dried. No, absolutely <laughs> do not like being dried. <laughs> they don't mind getting wet on a walk, but they don't like being dried. No, um, so they're suitably tired now, so they're probably going to sleep the whole way home. I think we've got like 90 minutes home or something. Hopefully uh, traffic is with us. Uh, but yeah, we've had a good weekend, haven't we? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that site, actually. Mm. Um, it was good. There was really lo good. lots on the site. You know, you, there's a pub on the site, which was, seemed really busy. We didn't go in there, Yeah, we, we never went into it. I think it was called The Stables. Mm. But yeah, we never went, did we? Because we we went to the brewery and then we were sort of like done, weren't we? We had something to eat and then we just like couldn't be bothered to yeah, go back out. Yeah, and obviously fr <laughs> Friday night when we arrived, went to the pizza van. And then obviously didn't really fancy going to the pub after that. We'll have to see if we can find a picture of the pub just to put in to show people what it looked like. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then obviously it's cool that there was a, a food van both nights we were there. So last night uh, it was pie night, pie van, wasn't it? Yeah, and then obviously we had pizza mm. on Friday. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, and then just had a lovely weekend. Nice trip into Bakewell. Really enjoyed the tap room at the Thornbridge Brewery. Yeah, that lovely, really loved that. It? And I really liked the fact it was busy. Because yeah. I always think about these things. If they're not busy, they're not going to stay around forever. And the fact that people jump on board and go to these places, I just I really like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and obviously, beer was the beer was really good, so I guess that helps them be really busy. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, really good. Campsite was good. Yeah. Good facilities. Good, good toilets mm. and that. Showers. Annoyingly, right. I've been waiting for a push button shower. Yeah. So I got one of those little things. I will have to put some B-roll of it in. One of those little things where you can clip on to keep the push button pushed in yeah, so you don't yeah. have to keep pressing it. And it was the type of push button where it's literally just at the wall and a push button sticking out yeah, the wall. So there's, <laughs> like not, there's, no, there's, there's nothing not like to a pipe to clip Yeah, you it need like a sh mm. the shower where you, the shower pipe's there and you can clip it on. Mm. So yeah, I was fuming about that. <laughs> we've not had hey, a push button for ages. We've still not had to try it, have we? No. The other ones we've been to, we just like turn it on, turn it off. The other yeah. ones. Since yeah, we've but had since there. we've had it, we yeah. haven't had any push button showers. Oh dear. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop it a like. Uh, if you're new here and you want to follow along with our travels, subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.